interrupted only by Charlie being Charlie. Who's in charge of health and safety? Who's got the health and safety policy? What, I'm sorry, what's he saying? The guy with the cutting blade should really have a bit more protective kit on. You know, the glasses, sparks, gloves, you know, it's just... Well, who's... It, so who's, who's just this every day of his... What am I supposed yeah. to say to him? Can you wear PPE? Yes. Despite Mother Hen's fears, nobody lost their limbs. But even so, at the end of the day, we were way behind schedule. Well, we're going to have to put planks across that new turf, haven't we? The only good bit of news is that nobody seemed to have noticed what we were up to. Right. I haven't heard from the council. So that's good, and it's been 23 hours since they were... Um, informed that they're getting a restaurant out here in the middle of our farm. The next morning, Alan's team were back at the site bright and early. But once again, I wasn't. Because as I was trying to leave the farmyard, I got news that there were issues at the old hen houses. There should be about 50 or maybe 60 hens in here. Shit, that's not good news. Oh, no, more. In fact, there were exactly none. Fox can't get through here at all. A mink can. I promise you. Then, as I was heading for my car... Everything, 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 even the Lisa cars. told me there was a problem with the water pressure. We cannot run out of water. The whole prep kitchen's just out there. Oh, that's very, very low. Shit. Right, so is there any pressure on the gauges on the RO? I don't know what the RO is, and I don't know where the gauges are. Right, leave it with me. I'll get somebody out to you today. Can it be... We're opening a restaurant. You know, today isn't really... It's gonna help us, I don't think. But like now would now would really help. Fucking Brexit. We'd have had a pole here, like don't you gone like that. Well, it wouldn't have broken in the first place, would it? Finally, though, I was in my car and heading down the farm drive to the restaurant site. Literally, look at this. This is. Who are you? Hi, I'm collecting from you today. Got the courier. Somebody up there will sort you out. Thanks. And you are. Station Mill Antiques. Station Mill Antiques. Okay, good. Thank you. And you're Jack Carlin. You're working for us. And who's this one in a pickup truck? Morning. You're, what are you here to do? The young girl's hurt her foot. So one of the employees has hurt her foot. Lovely. Thank you. Um, I need oh, to, uh, fuck. Uh, it's Paddy. No, don't worry. No, it's all right. Everyone else is... a man with a gun? The foxes have destroyed our chickens in that coppice tonight. I don't... Yeah, I don't think it's a fox. What do you think it is? Mink. Can I still try and shoot yes. tonight? Yes, yes, to yes, yes. Oh, yeah, thanks, Paddy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to farming. If you can back back up again or get over a little bit, I can try and come out this way and then go round there. I've got to go round there. Hi, Alan. Hello, mate. All right? We're running out of water. Head of tank's got about that much in it. And then we discovered a possible reason why the water pressure was so low. Someone left the screen at the floor, so we've got to dry it out first. Shit. So when do you think we can get the kitchen fitters in? So we've got to get it decent enough, dry enough. Fuck it out. Is that the kitchen? Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah. I thought the kitchen would have been in by now. No, no, I'll be waiting for the flooring to be finished. Shit, in now. The issues and delays were a constant nuisance. I've got to come round here, you see. But this is Team Diddly Squat. Right. The, the tables are only going in there, nobody's going up there. And we were determined to catch up. So you think you're a Romeo? You bang the party in the picture show. We'll take the long way home. I'm sending a tweet about the restaurant opening. I'm four letters over.